first Unreal. God, it takes me back. I mean, it's been so long. Uh, the game, it essentially took about uh, three years start to finish, and the last year was the most difficult one because we were holed up in a little office in Waterloo, Ontario, Canada, a little college town about an hour, hour or two outside of Toronto. And uh, we were working 14 to 16 hour days, and fundamentally as a game designer, the best logic that you can always follow is to make the kind of game that you want to play, and that's what we were doing. We were working our butts off to, to make a collective vision of something that was beautiful and interesting and compelling. It was a world that gamers wanted to explore that was rich with beautiful environments and interesting alien creatures and, and fascinating locales. We began developing Unreal in 1995. Uh, that was when Epic made the transition from being a little developer with you know, two or three person teams to building a real development organization and company. Unreal was our first really major production. That's where we learned to you know, develop a large scale piece of software with a large team, you know, integrate lots of artists in the pipeline and build significant tools to help everybody create the game. We were a bunch of kids throwing as much cool stuff at the wall and seeing essentially what stuck. And as fate had it, a lot of it did stick and we wound up with a, a, a golden product that was had a lot of gamers look back at with an incredible sense of nostalgia. I mean, going into the, the introduction of the scar as the first enemy with the lights turning off and the creature leaping out in the darkness with the techno music blaring, I mean, to this day is still one of the most affecting moments in gaming history. To take all of that universe and to then transition that from the first Unreal into the mega hit that was Unreal Tournament, it was actually a really, really, really easy transition to make. We started off uh, Unreal Tournament as an add-on pack. It was called the Bot Pack initially, named after uh, Steve Polge's Reaper Bots. And actually, as we started working on it, um, we realized that uh, hey, this is really fun, and you know, this is really cool. This is this deserves more more time, and it developed into a, a, its own big uh, franchise. And Mark Rain came in with his usual 800-pound gorilla demeanor. You know, guys, we got to make this. You know, this a uh, full product. This demands to be, you know, on the market as a, as a retail game. And we're like, Mark, you know, we thought it would be an add-on pack. And he's like, No, we're going to call it Unreal Tournament, and we're going to add these cool features. And we're like, You know what? Let's do it. The very first Unreal game shipped in May of 1998, and shortly after that, a bunch of us, myself, Steve Polge, James Schmaltz, Tim Sweeney, Cliff Blazinski, and a few others, sat in the hotel room at E3 right after the game had been released and talked about plans for making an add-on pack. And what we wanted to focus on was this idea of uh, using the bots to play network games against players and give you a real lifelike experience. And ultimately, that became Unreal Tournament. If I could go back and do it again, I'd do it in a nanosecond, and everybody that was involved would do it, because it was not only the, the launching of multiple careers, it was also the launch of a franchise. The moment for me when I realized we had gold was with the original Assault Mode. Nobody to that point had done any sort of a battle of that scale that you could play in single player with AI characters that storm the beach with you or play in multiplayer where you know you're attacking a submarine or you know underwater city or anything like that. We took the combination of the fantastic environments of the Unreal Universe and we combined it with a tremendous amount of polish and wound up with something that was truly memorable that gamers to this day look back on and they just have great memories of. I think before Unreal Tournament, multiplayer gaming was something that was kind of a that hardcore players did. And as a result, it was intimidating both in terms of getting connected and then also in terms of becoming part of the community. And so those were the two things we wanted to address. And the two ways we addressed that, one was by building an interface that made it really easy for players to get online and play with their friends. And then the second thing is with our really good AI, we were able to give people a taste of what multiplayer gaming was like before they kind of jumped in and exposed themselves to the the, the internet players. I think when you take your average Unreal Tournament fan and you mention to them that there's another chapter in the series coming along, they're, they're rabid. They have tattoos of the logo. Well, the one thing we really learned with Unreal Tournament was this idea that we should take our time and get it right. And Jay Wilbur has this great saying, you can have it right or you can have it right now. I think it's because they just they know they're going to get something that's fantastic and is also a quality product. They know that at the end of the day, 
for the amount of money they pay, they're going to get thousands of hours of experience and they can modify the, the world and, and mold their own environments and create their own characters and that's a community they get to participate in by playing Unreal Tournament and modifying it. About a third of the developers at Epic actually come from the mod community and these are people who started out by programming mods or building you know, their own levels in Unreal and these tend to be the most enthusiastic people you can find in the industry. They didn't come here for the money, they didn't you know, build games because they needed a steady job. They did it just for fun and for passion. One amazing fact that people don't realize is that a lot of people have used Unreal Tournament games as their resume, as their springboard into the industry. A lot of the people that work at Epic actually came from the, from the mod community. The whole idea of the mod community, the fact that we released this product and it actually